right, so now we're going to check out how to make a Pinterest account. Now, if you already have a Pinterest account that's kind of your personal account where you've been pinning all of your house and wedding and cat ideas, you're going to want to make a separate Pinterest account just for inspiration for design purposes. That way you won't get distracted by all of those other things that your Pinterest will flood onto your feed automatically. So to do that, Pinterest makes this very, very easy. We're going to sign up for our account. We're going to enter our email address and create a password. And then you just hit sign up. So then it's going to ask you for your name and an age and your gender. And then you just hit come on in. So now we have to pick five topics. Again, you want to try and keep this relevant to design at this point. Otherwise, it will flood you with recipes. And then you're going to get distracted when you're trying to look for all of your different inspiration things. And once you've selected five different topics, you're just going to hit done. So now we need to get our Pinterest browser button. So we're going to hit get it now. And it's automatically just going to pop this add pin it button thing up. You're going to hit add extension. And right there, the pin it button has been added to Chrome. This is the how to save a link page that comes up automatically after you install your Pinterest browser button. And it kind of gives you a quick rundown on how to use this, but I'll show you how to do that also. So we're just going to close this page for now. And this is still up, so we're just going to hit skip and hit skip. All right, so now Pinterest is going to go through and it's going to build a page with those boards that you pick. And you can see that it's already kind of populated our feed with all of these different pins that we can pin to our own boards. Okay, so let's see how to pin something that we like. So let's say we like this business card design right here. So we're going to hit pin it. Now we don't have a board yet, so let's make our board. So you're just going to type in the name of your board. And I'm just going to call it something really generic like design inspiration. You can go as generic or as specific as you want with this. And then you're just going to hit create. So you can see down here it says it's saved. So there you go. It says you just saved your first pin. Now if I actually come over and click on my name, you can see I have one board with one pin now. Okay, so this is kind of your own personal Pinterest area right here. Now, if you want to get back to that feed, all you do is hit this Pinterest button here. Okay, so now let's say we're on an external website where we get some of our inspiration stuff and we actually see something that we want to keep and we want to pin. That's where this browser button comes in handy. So we're just going to hit this pin it button here and you get to pick any image that it loads up off of here from this website. You can see there were a bunch of images on this page. So I'm going to pick this one right here and I'm going to hit pin it. And again, you can create a board right from here. So let's say I want to create another board and I'll call this one illustration. So if you wanted to make a secret board for a very specific project that you don't necessarily want everybody to see, you would tick off this button here, but I'm going to leave this as public. And then we're going to hit create again. And you can see it's created our illustration board. And if we come back over here and reload this really quick, you can see there are two boards and two pins. So here's our other pin. And that's all you really need to know about Pinterest to get started with it and use it to collect inspiration every day.